Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I am bringing you a video that I absolutely love watching as a consumer on YouTube. So I thought I would give my take to it. I I think over 200 gift ideas. I literally just had to like cut it off. I did break it up into categories. Without further ado, here is 100 plus gift ideas for girls in their 20s. Australian edition. The first category is skincare. Any set from The Ordinary. The Ordinary is very affordable and still really good quality skincare. Specifically on my list is the Ordinary Lash and Hair set. The next gift idea is a set of CeraVe products. CeraVe is also really good with sensitive skincare people, which I am one of. The next gift idea is anything drunk elephant related. Different types of sets. The ones that I specifically have requested for Christmas is the anti-pollution sunshine drops. I have I haven't tried this but I've seen it literally all over social media so I have definitely asked for that. You can get it as its actual size but I also noticed that you can get it as part of a set which comes with the rose drops as well and the night moisturizer which leads me into the next gift idea is to get a full size tub of the Drunk Elephant night moisturizer. The next gift idea is La Roche Posay. You can get lots of different kinds of sets depending on whether you have sensitive skin or uh, acne prone skin. Specifically worth mentioning that Adore Beauty does sell a sensitive skincare set that is La Roche Posay based. So that is what I love and use very often. Specifically though, if you are going to buy any La Roche Posay product for someone or ask for it for yourself, the nighttime tolerating moisturizer is an absolute must for me. And also the Cheetah Plus B5 Balm, which is going viral over TikTok at the moment. Next gift idea in the skincare category is anything by Glow Recipe, specifically the watermelon drops. And I think it comes as like a set. I have actually asked for the mini fruit babies so I can like test all the different products because I've never actually used them before. And then the other thing that I am asking for is the cleansing balm. The next gift idea in the skincare range is anything by Sunday Riley, so any sets by Sunday Riley. I have have specifically asked for the vitamin C hydration serum. The next gift idea is anything by Go To. I also have anything by, I think it's Tatcha. Tatcha. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sorry. I have specifically had my eye on the rice wash and the dewy skin cream. The next one, which I'm fairly sure everyone has said on a Christmas wish list for 2022, is the Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream as well as the mist. I feel like they're really, really popular at the moment. The next item on my list is anything by Dermatologica. So I specifically have asked for the daily exfoliant. It is a powder. I absolutely love that product. Next again is an incredibly popular brand for 2022. It is Laneige. I'm obsessed with Laneige. Like I use their products on an absolute daily basis, specifically their lip mask and their lip balm are just going absolutely vibrant at the moment. I have a mini size of the lip balm and it has lasted me forever. And then the other Laneige product that I love is, sorry, it's not a product, it's a set. It's called the Simple Solutions set and it comes with the Milky Toner and then the Cheetraplast Overnight Mask. The next thing on the list is the Dr. Dennis Gross Face Wear Pro, which is like the light therapy mask. It is pricey so you could instead ask for and i'm not even sure if they still sell these so i apologize but it's the pepico face mask i have a feeling they might not sell it so i apologize in advance and the next thing that is on my wish list specifically is the dr dennis gross daily peels so they have ones for your face and ones for your body the last thing in the skincare range is is the sand and sky tasmanian spring water moisturizer that is the freshest moisturizer i've ever put on my face moving on the next category is makeup anything by Too Faced, specifically the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, as well as the Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss, which I'm currently using as well. The next gift idea is anything by Hourglass. I specifically have my eye on the Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm in the shade Entice or in the shade Slip. I believe 
but like it's near impossible as well as the hourglass highlighter which i've wanted for so long the next thing that i recommend to you to ask for which is on the more budget side is to ask for the mecca contour stick it is one of my favorite makeup products that i use and it's super affordable moving on to charlotte tilbury i want literally every single one of their products but specifically i have asked for the flawless filter foundation i have asked for the flawless filter setting spray airbrush whatever it's called i've asked for magic vanish which i saw a tiktok on the other day and i was like why is no one talking about this and then of course i have asked for the beauty light wand duo so it comes with the highlighter and the blush version moving on anything bobby brown related but specifically the vitamin e cream i love it i was gifted it for my birthday this year next is anything by napoleon i specifically love the napoleon autopilot primer another idea is anything by bare minerals i know that my friend loves the bare minerals bb cream I have asked every single Christmas for like five years for the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Again, it's on my wish list this year. Moving on, we've got Benefit. I have asked this year for the lip and cheek tint, but you could also ask for the Hula bronze as well as the Benefit mascara or like brow set. And next, you could get anything Giorgio, Giorgio Armani. I really want to try the Silk Skin Foundation. I had a makeup artist use it on me and I was like, a few other makeup brands that you could dabble into are Estee Lauder, Rare Beauty, specifically the cheap, what do you call it, blush. You can get someone Morphe brushes, like a set of Morphe brushes. You could also get the Dior Glow Face Palette Lip Oil. The lip oil. You could also get someone who loves their makeup, beauty acrylic organizers, or you could ask for it, especially like the swivel ones. And then speaking of vanities, you could also ask for a vanity mirror with the lights. And you could also ask, and I think I'm gonna actually ask for this because Kmart has like a cheap version of this, but it's a little box to store your makeup in, but it has a vanity mirror with lights in it. And I'm like, that would be perfect. And then the last two gift ideas in the makeup category is, I think it's called Freck Beauty. It's like a freckle application, so you can put fake freckles on, which is really in at the moment, as well as beauty blenders. I feel like they are really underrated as gifts because I never want to buy myself a beauty blender. Moving on to home decor. This is one of my favorite areas, but again, this is a hard one because people have specific tastes. So I've tried to dabble into like a few different interior design tastes. Beginning with black and white art, I am obsessed with like high-end fashion art. So I have asked for, in black and white, the Prada Texas store. Next, you could ask for like beachy vibe art. So like I got some really good ones from Society6 for someone as like a moving in present. The next type is Pinteresty art, like Pinterest aesthetic art from Etsy. I'm just gonna insert photos, like I really don't know how to explain it and I'm gonna refer to this interior design as Pinterest aesthetic interior design. You could get that kind of art from Etsy. I'm also attempting to create them myself on Canva, so you can give that a go as well, especially if you want to like not spend as much money. Or you can hit subscribe and see how I go with that. Obviously candles are like an amazing gift and specifically you can get like fancier candles like the lady body ones or even the Pinterest aesthetic like curvy tall colorful one. Next is a throw blanket. Everyone loves throw blankets like it's pretty hard to go wrong with a throw blanket. Also silk pillowcases. I've actually asked for silk sheets like bed sheets including like the duvet cover as well as the under sheet like I want all silk. You can never really go wrong with European pillows and European pillowcase it potentially get someone a set of sheets from Sheet Society or Bed Threads. And when I say that, I mean, don't go buy like white, plain white sheets, sage green undertone, and then their duvet cover and pillows will be like an olive green. And I'm like a color set like that, that you got inspo from their social media. Next, we have a galaxy light uh, or a sunset lamp. The next thing I have on the home decor list is coffee table books, but you have to make sure you're matching their aesthetics. We saw Pinterest aesthetic, but vibes at Kmart like the most gorgeous colorful bold colored coffee table books like the Tom Ford high-end fashion books for that sort of aesthetic tea floral sheets judge me if you will but this was made for people in their 20s 
Um, so we're looking a little bit up in age, but somebody needs to buy me an air purifier. I do not want to buy that for myself, but oh my God, I need one so badly for each room. As well as a robot vacuum and mop. So I literally asked my parents for that. We'll see if I end up getting it. The next gift idea is actually super random, but it is like DIY hanging lights. You can get these little light globes from Ikea that have a remote. So you don't need to actually put electricity through and wire it through. And then you can get like a string and you can buy cute little lampshades on Etsy. And I'll just post a photo. Don't know how to explain it. Of course, like a pond puddle mirror, like the really curvy mirrors are so in. You can get larger ones. Or you can get like the super small ones for a vanity that sit in the wooden block. Obviously a mushroom lamp, like they're so in at the moment, they've been in for ages. So a fun bath mat, like anything that says like get naked or cheeky bath, like what is it? Nudie Rudy and things like that. Like they're so cute. Or sweet cheeks is what I was thinking. All right, moving on to technology. This is where the prices get a little bit higher. So skip through if it's just really not something within your budget or worth asking for. AirPods, the AirPods Maxes, Beats, an Apple Watch, an iPhone, a laptop. Also a bit more fun things. You could get someone a Polaroid printer, a Polaroid camera, a film camera, an old like camcorder, a projector or specifically a wireless projector. And then I have a little section for YouTubers, but if you are wanting to get into the space of YouTube, you could ask for a Canon G7X, which is what I'm currently filming on at the moment because my Canon EOS M50, which is the next gift idea, I haven't charged it. So they're very good beginner camera. You could also ask for a tripod. And the other thing I've asked for is the DJI Pro 2. And then I also asked for a microphone for my podcast. Moving on, I did dabble into like clothing a little bit, but I just feel like it is so specific to people and to where you are. But I put down an oversized blazer, basic halter crop tops, also basic Lux tees. These are from Supre and they're my favorite thing of 2022. I put down an Acme Studio scarf. I feel like I've seen that becoming really popular. A puffer jacket, matching sweat sets, whether they're short versions or like long winter versions. Puffer vest, I'm obsessed with mine. And the last one I have is parachute pants. Moving on to my favorite category, which is self-care or wellness based products. To start with, we have silk pillowcases. I feel like I said that before. Then a Colleen Hoover book. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but if she likes fiction books, even if she doesn't, I feel like they're so trendy. And when you start reading them, you can get hooked. Uh, the other one I have is the Body Keep score. I feel like anyone who has experienced trauma, it is so important that we read those books. The next thing is a wellness journal. There are so many different types of journals. You could buy someone a blank book. You could also buy someone my favorite, which is the Inner World Journals from The Happiness Planner. It's minute or five minute journals, which only require the same questions every day, but no more than five minutes of journaling. Next, I've got Aceology face masks. They're my favorite face masks a robe in like a towel material, mine's from Target, or a like soft fluffy robe, or an booty. Any kind of pajamas, whether they're silk PJ sets or like those cute little dainty flower PJ sets as well. A weighted blanket, or if you feel like being bougie and spending a lot of money, you could ask for slash get somebody the Zoetex sauna blanket, which I love using. A really cool gift idea, which I feel like is underrated, but people would really appreciate is getting them a gift card for Pilates or a gym membership. Because if you know that they've wanted to try, but like the money is stopping them from doing that, you could really help their health and well-being by providing them the opportunity to do that. A diffuser or a humidifier and essential oils that go with it. A salt lamp. I have this. I don't even know if it's a salt lamp, but I got this from, is it My Glow, the like tanning remover company? I love that and it's super cute. Skims underwear sets or like anything skins. Also lounge underwear sets are super cute. An electric toothbrush, teeth whitening strips or teeth whitening toothpaste, bath salts, an ice roller, the contour cube, any kind of like face cleanser, as in like the tools, like the thing, the like machine thing. Also the new face um, snatching device. An emotional support water bottle whether it's Frank Green or the little like really popular stand cups with the straws at the moment or one with like the time stamps or a cute like glass 
one that's super aesthetic. I have asked my brother to get me the face wash headbands and wrists because I like get super irritated when the water falls down my wrists when I'm washing my face. A nail kit, like some kind of at home acrylic nail kit, which would make you save so much money. The infamous mini Uggs or the Birkenstock shoes. And then to just run them off really quickly, pillow mist, incense, eye patches, Frank body scrub, any kind of bath product or shower, steamer, a dry body brush, and just literally any face masks. Moving on to hair care. I just have a short list here because I haven't really stepped into this space. So this is what was on my wish list. Any Olaplex kit, a Dyson Airwrap, a GHD hair straightener, a portable hair straightener. I don't know how to pronounce this, but like OE? Like the fate, the hair masks from OE? I'm saying it wrong. And also, I don't know how to say this either, Jisoo. Oh my God, so embarrassing. I really want the scalp treatment from Jisoo, but also any of their sets that they sell. Bondi Boost Hair Care, they have hair scrubs as well and like really good shampoo and conditioner. The Happy Hair Brush, which I'm obsessed with, as those subscribed to me would know, it detangles any knotty hair. Heatless Curls, Claw Clips, the No Mark Clips to do your makeup in and a hair turban for when your hair is wet and you're trying to dry it, as well as a scalp shampoo massager brush thing. Moving on, we've got summer care or like summer type presents, tanning type presents, which does include fake tanning as well. The Fox Tan Bronzing Balm, my favorite like real life tanning product, like in the sun tanning product, but also anything from the Fox Tan, if you haven't heard of them and if you haven't bought a product for them, go do it this year. Um, Bali Body Tanning Oil, also Bali Body Face Tan Water, Bondi Sands Tan, Bondi Sands Tanning Pajamas, which I know may be cringe, but I have wanted so badly. And then the Bondi Sands Tanning Sheets. I've asked for either them or the ones by Tansy, which they sell at Priceline. Any kind of bikini, towel, a beach bag, a bucket hat, a sun hat, a cap, sunglasses, sunscreen, especially like aesthetic body sunscreen. And my highly recommended one is the ultraviolet sunscreen serum. My card died and I came upstairs to get a new one and look at Sam. Say hi. Hi. How cute is he? Bye. Bye. All right, I've changed my card. So I feel like the angle's probably different, sorry. Okay, into the health and wellness category. The first thing I have is a gym bag. I've asked for one from Gymshark, but I also provided like a cheaper version one from Cotton On. Next is a whole bunch of Lululemon stuff. I really want the Lululemon everyday belt bag. I also obviously like everyone else in this world really want the Lululemon groove pads, Lululemon jacket, and also the Lululemon What's it called? Scuba hoodie. And as I just said, any kind of flared yoga pants. I have just, oh my God, the dogs. I have just ordered a bunch of stuff from a place called Lilo Active. They're like a small brand, I think based in Perth, Western Australia. So I've actually just ordered a whole bunch from their sculpt collection in the Black Friday sale. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Of course, New Balance shoes, any kind of active wear set. Like you could shop for Bow and Tee, Set Active, Gymshark. Like there are so many active wear brands. A yoga mat, ankle weights a yoga block, Pilates ring, dumbbell weights. Moving on, the next category and one of the final categories is adventurer. I didn't really have a better word, but it's kind of like for people who like doing things and like receiving gifts that involve doing something or traveling, for instance. So the first one I have is getting them luggage or requesting luggage from Away or the other brand is called July. I wanted the ones from Away for so long because they have a charger in a carry-on bag. You could get them travel cubes as well or any kind of little travel gadget such as an adapter. You could get concert tickets, theater tickets, or like tickets to exhibits or events. Any kind of like voucher for a getaway or an activity such as hot air ballooning, going to the zoo, 
doing a glamping weekend somewhere. And then obviously flight vouchers. Who does not want a flight voucher? Moving on, the last category I have is um, events or like party gifts for the party girl. So to start off with, we've got a cocktail shaker that you could get someone or ask for cocktail glasses. Like there are so many glasses, it's endless. You can get those like golden copper ones, which Kmart has like a Christmas set you can buy. But you can also get nice martini glasses, gin and tonic glass. You could also gift someone a nice quality gin or tequila or like a cocktail making class or tasting set. I am getting my mom a gin subscription from, I think it's called Garden Club or Garden straight so you can buy someone like a specific alcohol they like subscription which comes a new bottle new type of gin every month i really want to get the we aren't strangers game i don't know why but i wanted it for so long and actually this is a random one that i am getting someone else in my family and it's called ransom notes look it up i'll have it linked down below but it looks hilarious the other like entertainment or like game that i really want to get is anything from the school of life this is a little bit more like wellnessy emotional care connectiony you could also get someone a bar cart which would be super cool gift and also a like neon sign so something that says like dream and then the final thing i have on my list and obviously i could go on forever but it is wine glasses really cute like square ones which i really want from amazon but also you can just get really nice deep red wine glasses as well anyway guys that is everything for today i hope that i can have it all linked down below for you but i cannot tell you how hard it is going to be to do that anyway guys i hope that this video helped you a little bit try and decide what one you want to ask for but two what you can go get people also don't forget to like comment and subscribe i feel like my channel was doing really well and it's honestly had a dip in the last week and i cannot understand why like i don't know what i'm doing to make it just like freeze it's just frozen in the last week so i would really appreciate like you hitting like or you just watching the video the whole way through or clicking on one of my videos after this when you go to the bathroom and letting that play through like that stuff helps me so much and i feel like it can be quite an easy thing to just say, oh, I'm just going to chuck a playlist on of Steph's and go clean my house. You don't need to watch it. But just if you can like, comment and watch a video the whole way through and subscribe if you're not subscribed, like it would be the best gift that I could get from you guys. So I just, yeah. And thank you to everyone who does subscribe, who does like my videos, who does watch them the whole way through and who does comment. Like you guys, you make me so happy and so whole. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. I quickly wanted to let you guys know, um, I don't know why Sam is walking around so violently.